In this video, I want to show you how to solve a system of linear equations using matrices and the TI-84 plus calculator over here. So I'm going to solve this system here. I have three linear equations in three variables. And to solve it, I'm going to need to write out the augmented matrix. But before I do that, I have to make sure my equations are set up correctly. So I need to make sure I have my X's lined up, my Y's, my Z's, my equals, and my constants. And luckily in this example, I do. If they weren't organized like this, I'd have to rearrange them in this manner. So now we can get our augmented matrix. So we just basically strip the numbers off. So uh, row 1 in my matrix is just negative 5, 1, negative 2, and 12. So you can see that is this first row in the matrix. Notice the first column are the x's, the next column are the y's, the next are the z's, and the last column is the constant. So now row 2 would just be 2, negative 3, 4, negative 15. And row 3 is 1, negative 1, 1, negative 4. So now I have set up my augmented matrix. And so we're almost ready to put it in the calculator. One thing students try and put this bar in the calculator. You don't need the augmented bar. You just put the whole thing in together as one matrix. And what are the dimensions of this matrix? Remember, rows come before columns. So it has three separate rows. And it has one, two, three, four columns. So this matrix is a three by four matrix. So now we're ready to put the matrix in the calculator. This is a TI-84+. And the matrix menu is written here in blue above the inverse key. To access anything in blue, you have to hit the second key first. So I'm going to have to hit second, followed by the inverse key to get my matrix menu, as you can see here. So if you've never had a matrix in your calculator before, this section of the screen will be blank. But if you've previously put a matrix in for any of these matrices, the dimensions will be showing down here. But don't worry, you don't have to delete the old matrices. All you have to do is overwrite them. So I want to call my matrix A, but I need to edit. So I've got to get over to here by hitting the right key twice. Now I'm in edit. And if I want to call it matrix A, no, notice it's already highlighted. If I want to edit matrix B, I'd have to scroll down to get to B. But I want matrix A, so I just hit enter. And it's told me right now matrix A has dimensions one by one. I need a three by four. I need three rows. So I put three enter and notice it is showing me a three by one matrix notice it's given me three rows but just one column and it just put zeros in for my entries now i need a four column so you put four enter and now it's giving me a three by four matrix you can't see the whole thing you can only see the first three columns these little dots here indicate that there's more over to the right and you can access that by scrolling over. So now I'm ready to enter my numbers and notice the first number in row one, column one is negative five. Am I in the correct position? Yes, row one, column one. Now to enter negative numbers, you must use the negative key. This is subtraction and operation. It will give you errors. So I have to put negative 5 and then hit enter. And notice it's moved to the next position, which is a 1. 1, enter. It nicely scrolls over. The next one, negative 2. 
enter and the last one 12 enter and when I hit that one notice it's already scrolled to the next row so now all I have to do is put in row 2 2 enter negative 3 enter 4 enter negative 15 enter finish row 2 now I need to work on row 3 1 enter negative 1 enter 1 enter negative 4 enter so I should have put it incorrectly but you can check it by scrolling left and right to see if all your numbers are correct I think that's kind of awkward so you're going to have to exit this menu anyway so I quit this menu so to get to quit it's in blue so you're going to have to hit second mode you're out of the matrix menu now you can go back into it by hitting second inverse and notice now here's matrix A here's its dimensions I'm just I just want to check it so I'm going to hit enter and then enter again does this look like I have entered my matrix correctly yes you quickly check it and things look good so now I'm ready to solve the system so I have to get back in the matrix menu second inverse and now I need to go over to the math menu that's inside of the matrix menu this is a different math menu than this meant math menu in here so I need to go over to here so you scroll over and what I'm looking for is way down so we're going to scroll down keep going and that's the one I'm looking for R R E F which is reduced row echelon form so hit enter and now I have to put in the matrix name the only way to access the matrix name is through the matrix menu don't try and type in square brackets and using the alpha key you have to go to second inverse to get into the matrix menu now this is the name I want A so hit enter close parentheses hit enter again and reduce row echelon form if there is a solution it will operate on the matrix to get ones on the diagonal zeros below it zeros above it but don't just assume that there is a solution if there is no solution or infinite number of solutions you'd get zero 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 either in this row or this row so it's important to check that you have one on every element of the diagonal zeros below it zeros above it great in this case there is a solution remember the first column was X's so 1x no y no z so x equals negative 1 row 2 says I have no x's 1y no z so y equals negative 1 and last row says no x's and y's 1z so z equals negative 4 so my solution is just negative 1 negative 1 and negative so I paused the video for a short time so I could copy down the last matrix I got up here and explain where the x equals negative 1 came from, y equals negative 1, and z equals negative 4. And often we write solutions to these systems as ordered triples like this.